Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. I'm going to show you how to make halftone text and you know how to achieve this interesting pop art style. So let's jump in. I'm going to delete this and uh, actually I'm going to leave it to uh, get the colors from, to extract the colors from there. Check it out how it looks in small. It looks pretty nice. Zoomed out, it looks like a gradient because we're going to work with gradient. Anyways, I'm going to rename this so uh, use a text whatever you want your brand or anything go to object go to expand click ok so now you can't edit the text uh, go to the gradient click on the gradient and uh, put there 90 degrees okay so the dark is down but uh, the dark side the dark part basically the black it needs to be on the top so i'm gonna click on this on reverse gradient it's gonna be on the top and at the bottom it's gonna be the white of course i'm gonna create a new copy press and hold alt and drag it upwards and this is going to be some black color all black i'm gonna scale this up a little more so the half tone effect is going to look like more different when when you when you got like bigger text you know the dots are going to be more visible anyways go to effects go to pixelate and select half tone and there you go make sure the channels are on zero so you're working with the only black uh, nuances this is on 70 i'm gonna decrease it to let's say on 30. The more you decrease the halftone number, basically the more dense is going to be like more, the circles are going to more be, to be more smaller and smaller. For example, on 30, the circles are uh, still kind of big. I'm gonna go back to the effects. What is that? Pixels, pixelate, color halftone. I'm gonna go with uh, 15. Let's see what we have there. Yeah, 15 is pretty good. I'm gonna go to object, expand appearance. And I'm gonna trace image. Here is the image trace. Click on the image trace. It's gonna de destroy the what is that? The circles, which is not that good. But let me check it out. If I scale, actually, no, it won't be like that. What if I uh, do with three colors? I gotta go with three colors. Let's see what happens. If you had like a you, how I saw with this trace, tracing option, if I, if I try to add like with three colors or 16, it, it try it, it gonna tr uh, try to make it like more realistic eventually, but I'm curious how it's going to apply on this effect. Yes, perfect, check this out. So with uh, three colors, uh, the circles are like more like circles. They're like uh, more circular. You know, with uh, with the simple basic image trace, they're gonna look like really bad. It looks they look like some uh, rhombus kind of thing. So this is also really bad, but uh, you know, it's more uh, what we want, and it's like a little bit more artistic, of course. And click on the expand, right click on group, remove this white thing, and as you can see, we remain with the with these still there. I'm gonna select what's left you know the black dots so let me check if i pull this out yeah something like this we're left with these i'm gonna select press and hold shift to select the forms and shape i won't select this so uh select those which are not uh selected yet by pressing and holding shift so you can select multiple stuff right click group and uh yeah this looks good without that weird stuff and i can delete these let me check what what is this this is alone it was one of the half tones some from somewhere i think from here yeah it was okay okay so i'm going to go again select these there was like another one where was that it was right here okay right click group and was like another one here. Okay, I'm gonna delete these. And basically, this is how you work with uh, half tones. You know, with gradient half tone because you know 
Illustrator and these don't have a specific options for halftone. They don't they didn't figure it out like realistically like how to do it like without any plus so uh, hmm. this is what you basically can do with it so i'm gonna copy paste work with with cmyk basically and let's put this so this is going to be on the bottom i'm gonna press sh uh, control plus shift plus uh what is that right bracket you can see down in the left corner the shortcut and now that's it i gotta place it right here create a background with the rectangle tool it's located right here kind of select the color Control shift plus left bracket and we just copy pasted this whole concept you know so yeah this is kind of the style and effect that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And have a good one. Bye bye.